My name is Amir Latfi. I'm an interventional cardiologist practicing at Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm happy to be here at the 19th Annual World um, Congress. My presentation today will be on using fractional flow reserve in the periphery. The concept of, of this presentation was to bring physiology to the peripheral world as we have done in the coronary world and to, to assess if adenosine works in the periphery and what kind of prognostic information we can get from fractional flow reserve. And in, in our finding, in our study we found that fractional flow, uh, adenosine does work in the periphery, there's a hyperemic response. In addition, post FFR, after, inter after the intervention, has significant prognostic implication regarding restenosis in the future. What we, what we realized was if you get a fractional flow reserve of greater than 0.95 after the intervention, when followed up by clinical symptoms and duplex ultrasound um, at a three month interval after the procedure, there was a direct correlation between the FFR and progression of disease. That is, if your F fractional flow reserve was greater than 0.95, your chances of um, restenosis using peak systolic velocity as a surrogate was much lower versus if your fractional flow reserve was less than 0.95. This also correlates with the information we, got, we have thus far obtained in the coronary world. When your FFR is greater after intervention, your event rates are much lower. This really indicates um, the diffuseness of the disease that you're dealing with, and it's a great way to assess if you need to proceed with further uh, intervention uh, of the superficial femoral artery um, after you believe you have obtained an appropriate angiographic result.